Yo, what's up everyone? OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what you should buy with some upcoming games coming out for the Nintendo Switch. So there are two different options that we'll be discussing here because both of these games come out on January 11th, 2019. That is next week for those who are not aware of the date. And a lot of you guys have been asking me questions on what should I get? Which game should I buy? I only have enough money to buy this game or that game. And this was a series that I actually debuted a while ago with FIFA versus NBA 2K and you guys really liked it so I decided to kind of come back to it and talk about some games that are coming out pretty much on the same day or right around the same time in the future we'll talk about games that come out in the same time but we're gonna pick up two games that are actually remasters or kind of bringing them back to the modern age on the Nintendo Switch and that is of course New Super Mario Bros U Deluxe and Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition so let's go ahead and start off with new Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, the strengths and weaknesses of this game. So, New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe is, of course, a Wii U game. It was released on the launch of the Wii U back in 2012, and it's actually a ton of fun. You can use just different characters and play four players. On the Wii U, it actually had a five-player mode. That will not be carried over to this here because of the Wii U gamepad. You could have somebody, like, touch the screen and manipulate things. It looks like that's not happening in the same way because the official site does say four players so maybe that's a little bit of a negative but they did bump the resolution up to 1080p so you are going to get a clear image with this one you're going to get all of the original base game and it's a lot of fun especially once you get into the later levels but what's interesting about this one is that they actually added in the super luigi u levels as well which was an expansion to the original game or even a standalone on the wii u and this is where you're going to get your money's worth when it comes to this package for $60 because those Luigi U levels they are very difficult especially about like I would say about a quarter of the way in they start getting really hard they really bump up the difficulty and the level design is actually really good so with this game here for 60 bucks you get the original base game and you also get that Super Luigi U stuff so great value but in this game you actually get the whole Toadette character as well which is completely new to this series and completely new and adds in a little bit of a new dynamic makes things a little bit easier with her recovery abilities and all of that they also have Nabbit in there there's 164 courses total so that is a lot of content and gameplay when you factor in the replay value collecting all the three super coins and everything like that and once again you can boot up for some local multiplayer action remember guys this does not have online multiplayer which is a little bit unfortunate it would have been nice if they would have added in online multiplayer but it doesn't have that so that is a bit of a downside but then again at the same time this game's multiplayer can be so frustrating because you're bumping around and everything's just kind of crazy and online lag would actually really kill this game faster than anything so maybe it was a little bit of a good thing but at the same time the option would be nice at least to team up with somebody else online with some two-player co-op but hey it is what it is there and there is still a lot of content in the game there's just a ton of different things to do there's just so much and it's hard to go against mario when it comes to the platforming greatness and all the abilities in the game there's all sorts of power-ups and everything this is the same game that you know and love but even more with the super luigi u and the toad at and kind of what they've added in there and of course for newcomers or let's say you have small children playing they do have the nabbit character to where you can just take no damage so there is that as well now let's go ahead and move on to the next game here and that is tales of vesperia definitive edition this is definitely a fan favorite and a game that bandai namco took way too long to bring to a lot of different systems so a little bit of background information on why this game is even coming and what they talked about here tales of vesperia was originally released about 10 years ago on the xbox 360 and it was an exclusive to the system which pissed off a lot of people out there especially PlayStation fans who have been used to getting Tales games or even Nintendo fans coming off with like Tales of Symphonia well not coming off of but it was multiple years after but still still having that type of game actually a couple different Tales games coming on the GameCube then also on the Wii as well so to see this game only on the Xbox 360 was a little bit of a disappointment but Bandai Namco never actually officially put it out here in the West for everybody to play there was a 
PS3 version that had a lot of different improvements, but it was Japan only. So this game has just languished for about a decade, and they're finally bringing it back to where everybody can play. You have the PC, you have the PS4, you have the Xbox One, and also the Nintendo Switch. Now, the game on the Switch, in terms of how it runs compared to the other versions of the game, it is going to be 60 frames per second in battle, but then out of battle, so when you're in the towns and on the overview map, it is going to be 30 frames per second. It does run at a clean 1080p on the Nintendo Switch, 720p while handheld, so you are going to get a comparable experience to the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One versions of the game, so you don't have to worry when it comes to that, because that's always something that comes up with third-party games on the Nintendo Switch. But what makes this game really good? So let's talk about some of the stuff. It's a role-playing game. Once again, Bandai Namco, it's coming out the same day as New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, so January 11th, but it is multiplayer. It is multiplayer just like New Super Mario Bros., which people don't understand. Yes, you can hook up some extra controllers and play this game when it comes to the combat multiplayer, which is actually really good, and you can put together some devastating combos when you don't have AI. The AI is good in the game from what I remember. I remember playing Tales of Vesperia vividly back on the Xbox 360. It's actually my favorite Tales game of all time. And I'm not trying to say that other Tales games aren't as good or anything like that or you can't like other Tales games. I'm just saying this is my favorite one. The other Tales games, there's other good ones as well. Symphonia is great. There's a ton of other good Tales games. So there is four players in this to where you can team up with your buddies local. No online multiplayer or anything like that. But what makes this game so good in my opinion is the fluid combat system the fluid combat system and what you can do with the arts and the skills there is a lot of variety there is a ton of side quests there's just a lot of things to do so just like new super mario bros u and its own genre when it comes to rpgs there is a lot of extra packed in content however they've added even more into this definitive release so you have some new characters that you can use that you weren't able to use on the original release with patty she's a cheerful young pirate you can use her and that's really awesome then also Flynn who's in the game originally and now you can use him he's Yuri's best friend the main character with the purple hair and all that yeah his best friend and he's actually really good so he can join the fray as well has beautiful full 1080p HD graphics and everything brand new music tracks mixed into there as well a bunch of different mini games and there's DLC costumes included in there as well so it is pretty much the full package when it comes to RPG games it controls great it plays great it looks great and there's tons of content in there and they've added in some bonuses and some nice fan service as well when it comes to the costumes and all of that so I really like Tales of Vesperia I think it's a great Tales game and this definitive release is going to be really awesome on the Nintendo Switch but the big thing is is which one should you buy which one is the one that you should go out there and spend your hard-earned cash on so as somebody who is a huge RPG fan and somebody that I really like platformers too especially when it comes to Mario I'm not the biggest on platformers outside of that but Mario is one of those games that I really love I definitely think because of the extra content and the type of history surrounding Tales of Vesperia I would just say go with Tales of Vesperia. I think you can't go wrong when it comes to an RPG of this caliber being brought back and kind of what Bandai Namco has done with this. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is awesome. It's a great game. You can play it on the Wii U if you have it and there's been multiple games with the New Super Mario Bros. series and all of that. There's a lot of different stuff to play. Obviously you can't go wrong with it but I think Tales of Vesperia is almost a one of a kind type of RPG that comes out and and I don't think we're going to see a lot of games like this. Mario, obviously, it's not a lot of games like Mario. And Mario is probably going to have a better resale value, right? So because of this period, it can probably go down in price faster than Mario is. But if you had to pick one... I'm definitely going to pick Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition just because of the type of gameplay that it has, what they've included in here, and the rarity of kind of how it wasn't out, right? You couldn't play it unless you have the Xbox 360, bringing over that extra content. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, I mean, that game sold really well. Obviously, it could have sold better because of the Wii U. The Wii U didn't sell as well, but I think a lot of you guys have played that, whereas I think a lot of people missed out on Tales of Vesperia, especially with the Xbox 360 not being known, at least at the time that it released, for RPG. RPGs, but Microsoft desperately trying to get more RPGs and release stuff on there. So they were trying to become like an RPG box, but a lot of people that loved RPGs were on PlayStation and Nintendo. So a lot of you guys probably missed out on this one, and I think that this is the perfect time to kind of get back into it. Not saying that you can't go with New Super Mario Bros, guys. If you guys want to go with that, I know a 
lot of you guys probably will. That's probably going to sell a lot better than Tales of Vesperia. But if you had to pick one at this point, and maybe you could pick up one later, i definitely say go with Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition on the Nintendo Switch or PlayStation 4, Xbox One, whatever the case is. But this is a head-to-head -head with the Switch. So I would definitely go with that first. And then maybe you can pick up New Super Mario Bros. later. Especially if you've already purchased New Super Mario Bros. beforehand. I think that Tales of Vesperia would be the better pick at this point. But once again, you can't go wrong with either one of them. They're both really good games. All right, so what do you guys think about this matchup between these two games coming out on January 11th? Which one are you planning on buying? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, Ninja, that wraps it up for this video here. Go ahead and check out the links in the description below. We got Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media. Really helps to spread the content of players that's across the internet in addition to YouTube. Also, make sure you check out our Patreon, Twitch, and YouTube Live Gaming pages. Hit that like button if you did like this video. Let's me know you guys want more content like this going forward in the future. And subscribe to Player Essence for this RPG, Japanese, and Nintendo gaming news. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.